Hey guys. Hey friend. Um, so what we're going to do tonight is I have five channel letters. Um, I think what I'm going to title it, the video is um, a channel letter from your boo thing. But I'm pretty sure most of them are, um, I mean you can really think about anybody but I think most of these are uh, like romantic interest or relationship type letters but you can <clears throat> take a second to connect with your intuition with your angels and guides I mean subconsciously but and go ahead and pick one of the five letters that calls to you. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, and then what I did was, because last time I heard how loud the crazy shuffling was, I already pre-shuffled. I got an affirmation card. Um, and then I got uh, two oracle angel cards for advice. So I just did a collective... Um, some advice cards for everybody, so they're going to be the same in every group, but it'll be something to look at instead of um, just looking at, you know, my table or whatever. So, all right. And hopefully I can figure out how to edit better. Um... Hopefully I can edit better and have the timestamps, but at least we'll start out with um, showing the number on the card and the envelope. So that it should be pretty easy to fast forward and find your pile. Sorry, y'all. Hold on. Okay, so I don't know, I can even see these at all. We can see that. Let me just grab my water and stay hydrated. All right. I think what I'm gonna do is um. Actually, yeah, I think I'm going to read the letter and then we'll just go over the advice, advice last. Um, you know, it might be focused enough for you to read it yourself if you're impatient, but uh, I hand wrote these letters and you probably wouldn't be able to read them. <laughs> so, I'm just going to read it for you guys. Okay. Number one, letter from your boo, from your bae, from hubby, from wifey. My dearest sweetheart, I need to apologize to you for not giving you my full attention. I was taken over with envy and jealousy because I just want you all to myself.
so I retracted and gave my attention to another partially to prevent myself from getting burned and partially because I was hoping it would make you feel as jealous as I feel. It's extremely challenging for me to not be in complete control of you or this relationship. I've never felt this passionately about a person before. It's almost too much. It scares the crap out of me. You inspire me to be better. I want to be the perfect person for you. Sorry, guys. Even I can't read my own writing. <laughs> Sorry. I'll know, I know I'll never be a perfect person, but I want to say... I want you to say to yourself, they are perfect for me. Exactly what I need. I hope, I'm hoping you are on the same page as me because there's been a lot of unspoken and... It says disgust, but I think it's supposed to be non-disgust or not disgust. But personally, I'd like to try to take this to the next level and maybe move in together already. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you will always be my boo. Love your future spouse. That is so funny. Okay. Group one, so the cards, if you couldn't see them, and I think my lighting's kind of poor now. Um. So, Grace and Antoinette, to help heal this situation, see the other person's point of view with compassion. Um, yeah, just trying to put yourself in their shoes. Uh, maybe not speaking when you're angry and taking the time to like have a different perspective if you're capable of doing that. I don't know, that's pretty hard for some people, right? Um, what's the affirmation? Today I live in the present. Today I will start with a smile. I'm in control of my attitude. And I don't know if that's Teresa, Teresa. Time out, you've been busy taking care of everyone else's needs, but now it's time to stop and take care of yourself. So, uh, earlier when I pulled these cards for the advice from Spirit for the Collective, um, try to put yourself in their shoes. But then also, especially like if you're overwhelmed and stressed, I mean, you might or hangry, you might be just not yourself and need to do a little self-love, um, you know, to get your groove back or whatever. All right, thanks, pile number one. I hope you like the channeled letter. I had a lot of fun writing them. Oh, I should have said in the beginning, you can watch more than one pile. More than one, get more than one channel letter. Hmm. All right, channel letter number two. Yes. Stickers we left in already. cards up like that so it's something to look at and um we'll go over them again at the end so all right let it film your boo thing pound number two Whew. I'm excited that first one was pretty intense kind of got me shook <laughs> all right 
Okay, pile number two. It starts out, beautiful eyes. You have lit a spark in me. You call me on my bowl. Crap. I have to edit that here. I'll have to save the juicier um, readings later for, I don't know, what. I don't know if I'm going to do only fans for the 18 and up tarot. I'm considering that. Um, I know there's some other ones. Yeah, they're, they're gumbo or Zemo. I don't know. There's There's quite a few different ones, but, um, we're not going to do any 18 plus on here. I don't think so. Okay. Sorry. 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 Okay. Let me start again. <clears throat> Beautiful eyes. You have lit a spark in me. You call me on my bull crud. I've lied to you, but it's like you can see right through my mask. You aren't afraid to call me out and say what it really is. I really like that about you. The way you look at me, like I'm the head cheerleader or the quarterback of the varsity football team, it both makes me a little nervous and melts my heart at the same time. I've been thinking about buying you a gift to surprise you, but I need to make sure that it's something truly special to impress you. Hoping to see you soon. Signed, a brand new love. So... This one sounded kind of like um, kind of like a pure or like an innocent, I don't know, a younger, not fully developed and matured relationship. But it was uh, had some cute, some sweet things in there. So, okay, and the advice for the collective, um, Grace and Antoinette, to help heal the situation. See the other person's point of view with compassion. Um, I gotta try not to say um so much. <laughs> so, I mean, that's try to put yourself in their shoes. Try to um, maybe cool down and be level-headed. Um, try to see another perspective before. Uh, I don't know I got why I got that message when I pulled these cards, but... I don't know if, <laughs> if everyone's been arguing or what's, you know. But, um, yeah, just trying to see, trying to calm first and then trying to, I mean, actually, you know, it's easy to say, like, well, try to put yourself in my shoes, but actually, like, take the time, like, you're doing a meditation and try to feel what they would feel and try to think of their experiences, other surrounding experiences, or, um, you know what I mean, so. The affirmation for the group collective was, today I live in the present. Today I will start with a smile. I'm in control of my attitude. I love that card. Um, and then the other angel message was, I don't know if it's Teresa or Teresa, I don't know. Time out. You've been so busy taking care of everyone else's needs, but now it's time to stop and take care of yourself. So self-love. Uh, sometimes we're not ourselves. when we're strung out, when we're stressed, when we're hangry, you know, so. Okay, thank you, group number two. I hope you enjoyed the channel better. I had a lot of fun writing them. I'm actually blushing reading them. <laughs> so, all right, thank you. Bye. Okay, group three, pile number three. I'm excited to read this. This is the only one where I did like my typical usual stuff, but self and put it upside down. So I'm gonna read the letter first and then we'll go over the advice for the collective. But I'm just gonna leave it up so you guys have something to look at. And you guys can always drop a comment too. And let me know. I'm not going to shuffle them just to save some time because I have a lot of letters to read. But, uh, and they were, it was pretty loud last time I shuffled. But, if you have any suggestions, let me know. All right, group three. 
Your letter starts out, baby. So, baby, if you asked me to, oh, sorry, let me start over. <laughs> baby, if you asked me to, I would give it all up just to be with you. You are so attractive to me. Like I'm starving and you're a thick steak dripping in A1. Just so yummy. This is kind of an 18 on planet. Okay, hold on, sorry. Uh, okay. I'm going to have to read and censor at the same time. Like I'm starving and you're a thick steak dripping in A1. I know I make you mad sometimes. You were pretty mean to me. So I guess we're mean to each other. But I wish I had the nerve to tell you, I want you to have my child or I want to have your child. I can imagine your eyes bulging wide hearing this. You might think that you were just my distraction, but that's not true. This is the love of a lifetime. I love you. Sign yours truly. Oh, it's really sweet. I'm tired. I feel like I kind of butchered this. I hope I didn't. This was like the most sexually charged. Hopefully I won't get in trouble for saying that word on here. <laughs> um, and that is like the scientific term, right? Um, but that one was had the most, yeah. Uh, could feel the attraction and the, the energy of that one, so. Okay, guys, and then the, oh, oh, oh sorry, sorry. And then the advice um, from Spirit. Grace and Antoinette, to help heal the situation, see the other person's point of view with compassion. Put yourself in their shoes. Maybe don't talk when you're angry. Maybe try to calm down, get level-headed, and see it, you know, from another point of view, have another perspective on it. Um, sorry, guys. I was going to play some music in the background. I just don't want to get in trouble. I do not own the rights to any music. Well, my kids aren't awake. It's just one person awake stomping around, so. Okay. The affirmation for the collective today was, today I live in the present. Today I will start with a smile. I am in control of my attitude. Yes. That's pretty much all you can control. Yourself. Your attitude. Um, Teresa or Teresa... Time out, you've been so busy taking care of everyone else's needs, but now it's time to stop and take care of yourself. So self-love. Maybe you were just hangry. Maybe you've been stressed, strung out, tired. Um, make sure you fit some self-love into your schedule. Okay, bye. Bye, boo-boo. All right, thank you. Hope you enjoyed the reading. I had a lot of fun writing these. Um, drop a comment if you have any suggestions or okay so what am I on four? I believe I'm on four Excited about your letter from your boo, from hubby, from wifey. Actually. All right, I'm going to leave those up so you guys have something to look at. 
We'll go over them at the end. Got a lot of cards. I appreciate that art. You know I do. Okay. Ooh. I just halt your letter. <laughs> Group number four came over me. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right. It is addressed to my shining star. My shining star, the way we can talk for hours while you can, oh, as you continue to fascinate me, the way I can't stop thinking about you and how I want you and only you. I can only conclude that you are my person. And then there's three exclamation points with hearts. <laughs> you are my person. I know we have both done things to each other that weren't the kindest and the most loving, but you have captivated me. Sometimes I think it's not normal to be this obsessed with someone. To observe their social media or keep tabs on them like I do with you. I just can't help it. My friends must be on to me because I honestly can't stop bringing you up. <laughs> Hopefully I can keep up a good front. Signed, your little creep. Oh boy, that took a little turn. Let's see, let's read this last part again. Group four. Who is your boo? <laughs> Who are you dating? <laughs> Let me read this again. Okay. You have captivated me. Sometimes I think it's not normal to be this obsessed with someone, to observe their social media, to keep tabs on them like I do with you. But I just can't help it. My friends must be on to me because I honestly can't stop bringing you up. Hopefully I can keep up the good front. Signed, you're a little creep. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to be into that sort of thing. This is an 18 number reading, so I'm not gonna finish what I was saying. Group four. Wowza. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed the letter. I had a lot of fun channeling them, writing them, reading them. Let's go over the collective advice. Um, Grace and Antoinette, to help heal this situation, see the other person's point of view with compassion. Um, so have an empathy and try to, so it's one thing to say, you know, like, we'll try to see from my point of view, but I'm sure not a lot of people actually really take the time to calm down, get to breathe, like you're meditating, take some deep breaths and actually tr think of, you know, like current um, situations that person's been in or what, what they've been going through and how they might feel about things and try to get a different perspective and see their side of things if you want to. I don't know if like collectively people are arguing or what's going on, but um, the affirmation for the collective today, I live in the present. Today, I will start with a smile. I am in control of my attitude. Um, I really like the message on the card. I don't know if I like the way it's worded, but um, Yeah, you are in control of your attitude. So, I like that card. And the other angel guidance. Time out. You've been so busy taking care of everyone else's needs, but now it's time to stop and take care of yourself. Self-love. Squeeze it in. Pencil it in. Put it in your notifications and your phone. Um... Maybe you was hangry. Maybe you were just stressed out. Maybe you were, got a lot going on at work. Maybe you got a lot going on with the kids. If you got kids, or you're with the pets, with your fur babies. Um, but make sure that you, you can't love other people, right? You can't fill up other people's cup if you are running on empty. So make sure you're finding the time to give yourself some self-love. Okay. Thank you, group four. Did you one more, right? I do. Okay, thanks, group four. Group number five. Hi, group number five. Are you excited about your channeled letter from 
Lover Lips from, oh boy, that was, <laughs> I'm not going to say that. This is not an 18 and up. I'm, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> I can't say that, spirit. Nope, <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Well, I'm interested to see what's in this letter now. From Bay, from Boo, from Wifey, from Hubby. All right, group number five. Who's it addressed to? It says, best friend. To my best friend, let me start out by saying you are one of the most beautiful persons or people I have ever met. You are one of the most beautiful persons I've ever met. That don't sound right. Who wrote this? <laughs> All right. You are one of the most beautiful people I've ever met. Truly. I don't deserve you. If I can't express this to you, just know that you did nothing wrong. So I don't know if I wrote this right. Um, but when I channeled that energy in this letter, it was... They were saying, I don't know if I'm going to have the ability to physically, verbally express this with you and communicate it to you. But let me break it down for you guys. Let me channel it for you. Let, let Amanda. Your lead sorority sister. <laughs> your spiritual sorority sister, Amanda. Let me explain it to you. It says, if I stress this, just know that you did nothing wrong. Okay, so if they could express it, this is how they may word it. I have issues that quite frankly, or to be blunt, cause me to self-sabotage. Keeping me in toxic relationship cycles. So maybe that they wouldn't be able to express, but I feel like the rest of this they probably would. I feel bad for how I've treated you. Honestly, it's just not fair to bring you into my mess. If you haven't noticed, I'm kind of an insecure person who needs to know, so that they probably wouldn't say either. <laughs> but um, if you haven't noticed, I can be insecure. They, they might say that. I can be insecure at times, maybe. Maybe one time. Maybe insecure once. I think. No, that didn't happen. <laughs> okay, it says, I'm kind of an insecure person who needs to do a lot of self-growth before I'd even be on your level and ready for someone like you. So realistically, this letter, sh I should have worded it more like, you know, maybe sometimes, you know, I might need you to give me more reassurance or whatever, but, <laughs> but I mean, you know. Um, you know, and yeah, you maybe you're out of my league or maybe, maybe I'm not even on the same level as you. So what do you want me for? <laughs> uh, so, um, and then I signed it pathetically, your disappointment. So I don't think they would say that either. They'd probably be like, sign, hope, hope we can, uh, still be friends. So I don't mean it necessarily like somebody's breaking up with you. So this is just the energy of somebody kind of feeling bad about themselves. So, and when I was going over the group, the collective advice, everybody, the group advice from spirit, um, I was kind of talking about it earlier. Where was I going with this? Um, oh, with the self love. So, I mean, we, it's a, it's a normal human thing to get overwhelmed, to get stressed out, to, um, have bad days, love your shadow, that's okay, that's normal, that's human, We're, you're not going to be perfect, nobody expects you to be perfect every day, it's true, no, you don't have to do that, <laughs> um, so I mean, maybe they're just in an off mood, you know, don't, every, this is for entertainment purposes, guys, so hopefully though, I mean, I really do hope that you guys do, you know, find some messages or enlightenment or some kind of, you know, acknowledge a, you know, a synchronicity, something from spirit, you know, I do. So 
if you don't and you're just here for whatever other reason, that's okay. Hi, welcome. <laughs> I'm not for everyone, but you know, maybe I'm for you. Thanks for stopping by. If, if I am, make sure you subscribe, like, drop a comment if you have any suggestions. Hopefully I get much better at editing and recording and speaking. I'm sure I said um a hundred thousand times during your reading. Uh, so anyway, so what I was saying before about it was this is probably one of the, you know, least lovey-dovey or, you know, not really talking about a lot of stuff. I think it's just somebody feeling sorry for themselves in that stank energy, but... Sorry, sorry, group five. But let's go over the advice. So maybe, maybe you already know. Maybe you already know that something happened and grumpy puss, and you don't know what to do to get lover lips, grumpy puss to get to talk to you or whatever about it. Um, so spirit said, this Grace and Antoinette card to help heal the situation. See the other person's point of view with compassion. Um, Sometimes it's hard in the heat of the moment or if you are arguing about stuff, but um, to walk away and calm down, take a couple breaths, get level-headed, don't, don't have an emotional reaction, respond, you not react, right? Um, but actually try to put yourself in their shoes. And I know like it's easier said than done, but I don't wonder how many people actually take the, a couple breaths and think about maybe what that other person, some of the situations that have been going on lately or, you know, what you do know about their life because I don't think, I think even people that try to really connect with other people don't know. No, no, the half of it, right? So, um, and maybe try to actually feel, you know, like if it's, if it's your girlfriend and you know she's been stressed out at work and all the things that's going on and you know that she didn't get that promotion and you know that her, you know, that your stepson is sick and her son's sick. I don't, I don't know. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just making some scenario. But um, spend time actually trying to, to feel what they might feel. And at the very least, hopefully that will help with finding maybe another perspective or I don't know I don't think it can do the heart bad right I don't think it can do anything wrong trying to see the people's point of view but um it's hard I mean it's human nature and love you shadow everyone gets everyone has good days and bad days um this card over here that's talking about self-love time out you've been too busy taking care of everyone else's needs now it's time to take to stop and take care of yourself so self-love, pencil it in, write in your calendar, set a notification on your phone. Um, if you try not to say, um, uh, where is I going with that? <laughs> set a notification, pencil it in, make sure you find time for self-love. And then the group affirmation was today I live in the present. Today I start with a smile. I'm in control of my attitude. Uh, it's not my, it's not worded. It's not my favorite way to word that, but I really like the part where it says that I am in control of my attitude. You can only be in control of your body and your mind and your attitude. Nobody else, I don't know. And I know a lot of people, it's really easy to be like, well, you started my day off rough when you were bugging me asking me to help you look for your keys and <laughs> or whatever you know uh so but i mean a lot of i don't think human beings people project a lot of stuff and blame their feelings or their attitudes on other people and nobody's in control of your attitude but you and i'm sorry if i if you didn't know that or if i did break that to you but quit blaming everybody else for your stank energy all right. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry to go mom on you. Sorry to scold you. I've had a long day. Uh, I hope you enjoyed your channel letter. I had a lot of fun writing them, reading them. Hopefully I don't have technical issues and this actually recorded and I can upload it. And if you haven't subscribed, like, 
uh, leave me a comment let me know who you are what you know what you want to hear <laughs> what you want to say all right thank you bye